Hey, what's going on? So, Devil May Cry is what we're talking about. You know that from the title. The rights were bought to a Devil May Cry film back in February 28th, 2011 by Screen Gems. They're a subsidiary of Sony Pictures and they bring us classics of the likes of Resident Evil, Underworld, Machete Kills. They're working on a Kane and Lynch movie. From that small choice pick of movies, you'd think that these guys were absolute shit. And you'd be right. <clears throat> Okay, I'm being really harsh on them here because they got some surprising movies, you guys. If you go back far enough, in the 40s, they started as a um, an animation house, we'll say, for the tellies. So they were doing animations for the tellies, and then in 2000s, they did feature fucking movies. They're like, here we go, feature movies. They did Snatch with Bradley Pitt, The Brothers, I haven't heard of that one, The 51st State, and a couple of years after they started in 2000, 2002, they released their flagship franchise Resident Evil and 2003, another one of their big powerhouses, Underworld. They carried on releasing a shit ton of movies and in the 2010s they did Easy A, another big movie, but they seem to stick to the culty sort of vibe. They have a lot of Resident Evil, obviously Carrie, Priest, if anyone remembers that, these uh smaller, kind of cultier kind of films, Attack the Block, you know, they're slightly darker. And not always terrible. Think like a man? They did think like a man. Wow. So back to Devil May Cry, which they acquired the rights for in 2011. It was going to be penned by Kyle Ward. He's also worked on projects like Machete Kill. Well, not like, he's worked on these exact projects. Machete Kills, Underworld, Blood Wars, Hitman Agent 47. That's the second one, not the one with Bullock, if you know him from Deadwood. I call him, but you know what, it doesn't matter. He's also working on Kane and Lynch, which I think is still happening. Devil May Cry seems quite far away. Did I say far away? I meant that shit's fucking done. They're not doing a film on it. This could be down to video game movies doing really poorly as movies, but also they were gonna, well, this is a rumor. I don't know if it's actual fact. It was gonna be based on the DMC reboot. It was gonna have the look of the old school Dante. So he was gonna look cool and hopefully act a little bit better than he did in the DMC Devil May Cry Ninja Theory reboot, but it was gonna be more of that story, like a realistic western take on the Devil May Cry lore where it's manipulating the real world with the energy drinks and all that sort of noise. So to sum up, Devil May Cry is not happening in the near or even distant future, there's no plans for it whatsoever, but they do have the right, so if they were going to do it, it would be out by Screen Gems, which means it might look similar to this. <laughs> When I did my video sorry, this guy, what's the word? it was the wrong guy, but he's actually come out now, Hideki Kamiya, Kamiya, I don't fucking know, I'm so bad at saying words, but he's actually expressed to Capcom his interest on in working on a new Devil May Cry game and a remake of Beautiful Joe, and the last game he was directing was Scalebound, the planned collaboration with Microsoft Studios which was cancelled in early 2017, which looked like the spiritual successor to Devil May Cry.